Polish immigrants came to Ellis Island, located in the Hudson River off the New York City Harbor. Few traveled south, and even less ventured west. Most of the immigrants were Roman Catholics, and they tended to stay in groups. The first Polish immigrants had first arrived with Christopher Columbus and the Vikings. But the earliest recognized immigration didn't occur until the 1800s. In the 1800s to the 1860s, around 2,000 Polish immigrants came during that time. Push factors are conscription, which is being drafted into the war, religious persecution, and no money. factors are economic opportunities, since many had lost their land and weren't able to feed their families. And many Polish people believed that land showed stability. Someone come to America to make money, and then return to Poland after that was accomplished. Hardships on their journey? One man reported, It was packed tight on the ship. So tight you couldn't turn around. And the stench was awful. Hardships of once they got there is that they had no job, no money, no utensils, and no food. Since they had no utensils, they would sometimes use tin cans. Those tin cans would most often fall to pieces over the fire. Polish preservation of culture. Polish people still eat kielbasa, the sausage, and traditional cheese and potato pierogi. A tradition that is still used is the breaking of the Christmas wafer, Oplatek. Oplatek is meant to remind participants of the importance of Christmas, God, and family. This Christmas wafer is made from pure wheat flour and water and has a religious scene on the front.